Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynut the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4, the gunless playthrough where we're going through the entire game on the very hard difficulty without using a single gun, a single projectile weapon that we don't use our hands to throw the, the said projectile. Um, we're still here with Bayou Bob, who's uh, looking very fancy in his formal wear and his fashionable glasses. And we uh, last time we arrived at Diamond City, the green jewel of the Commonwealth. And uh, there's a lot of people we need to talk to in here because we're going to find a few people that will help us find our son. Uh, we met Piper at the, the entrance along with uh, Mayor McDonnell. McDon McDonnell? McDonough. McDonough. That's his name, McDonough. But uh, yeah, before we head into the town, I want to ask you guys a few things. Mainly, uh, I've been thinking about this, but... Would you guys like me to switch over to survival difficulty or not? Might give a bit more of a challenge since I start to feel like melee is actually not that hard. I didn't expect it to be uh, quite so doable, but uh, if that doesn't mean anything to you guys, I'm just going to stay at very hard. But uh, if you would like me to see, well, if you would like to see me suffer a bit more, Please tell me and then I will swap out accordingly depending on who, uh, which vote is cast the most. But uh, yeah, so today we're going to talk to a few people, mainly Piper, because uh, she told us she might have some uh, idea as to who might help us find Sean. But first, let's talk to Nat, who's uh, Piper's assistant at the Public Occurrences new newspaper. Hey, Piper, it's newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. So we heard a lot about the Institute already, but we haven't really explored the topic yet. We know the synths come from the Institute, so the robots we fought at our jet system, but that's about all we know. So the Institute, although there's a sarcastic option, let's ask about the, the Institute. Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. So yeah, they uh, talk about the Institute as though it's an evil corporation or something like that. An evil organization kidnapping people. But uh, who's missing? Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. The Institute is out there and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. It's all in the paper. So she said... Uh, um, stadium seat snobs because the, the richer people in uh, Diamond City actually live in the upper areas, of course. And since Diamond City is a stadium, that's, of course, very logical. So I believe you. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? Uh, well, we're looking for something. A uh, missing person I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. Of course he's so gone missing, it. otherwise I wouldn't be looking for him, but my son. I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. It's not a mystery. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. Hey. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. Ah, so is that why the mayor doesn't want to do anything? That might explain that, but do you know someone who can help? Because I look very charismatic in that outfit, maybe this uh, speech check will go alright. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this institute? Well, there is there we go. Mr. Nick Valentine. <laughs> okay. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. So there we go, with Detective Mr. Nick Valentine. So that's actually a shortcut towards Valentine's detective agency, but uh, thank you. Thanks. You were a big help. But anyway, we're gonna talk to uh, Piper as well, because she wants to talk to us as well. And I think, yeah, the public occurrences office completed. Go to Piper's office. We can't take anything here, but uh, this building looks a lot bigger on the inside than it looked on the outside. But uh, let's talk to Pleasure Piper. You holding up, Blue? Blue. So, um,. Let's answer sarcastically. I'm gonna. She she calls us blue because we're from a vault and they all wear vault jumpsuits, who are which are blue. Sarcastic. My favorite ballparks become a shanty town. So today's been great. Interesting. You mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. Yeah, you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and that fish out of water look. 
dead giveaway. Oh, she explains it anyway. Here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Yay, Jessica Watch Jones is our partner. Well, get used to the world above ground. Uh, sarcastic. Here's your headline. Local man says no. Gonna be like that, huh? <laughs> oh, the sarcastic option, it, option is a no. Do this later, but I want that interview, got me. Um, yeah, let's do the interview. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? And I know there's a sarcastic option for each and sing each and every one of those, so let's go for sarcastic. It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go with the satirical approach to this article. So you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? She doesn't look happy for some reason. Fun destroying things. I've been whacking things, not specifically destroying things, but gives me hope. Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. Bob is a positive man. surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? If you say so, yeah, they might be. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Take a baseball bat, find the person who's wronged you, and hit them in the face with the baseball bat. But that was just for laughs, so let's just go with one day at a time. You can only take it one day at a time. Just keep going. That's all anyone can do. Just We're keep going with the baseball bat. To, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Okay, there we go. Piper is now available to be your companion. And that is not sexual. That is totally not sexual. But uh, there we go. Story of the century completed. Another little side quest done. I'm just going to take a look because I think I can take stuff now from her place. Ha! <laughs> There's a bunch of yum yum deviled eggs underneath her uh, dresser right next to her bed, which is funny. It's also funny that she allows you to pretty much steal everything in her house but not let her let you sleep in her bed which is yeah kind of kind of weird kind of weird perspective there now we have piper's terminal don't know if there's anything interesting on there actually so there's a copy of the paper on her terminal but there's also a few uh, complaints that were uh, well filed against the paper and the first one is uh, about somebody who was really offended by the fact that the um, the contribution of the mighty wall was not mentioned in the defense of our town against the last month's super mutant attacks. And she has a published response. We honor the efforts of all those involved in the defense of our great city, from our valiant guards to the mighty wall. But the personal response was, Dear whack job, two members of Diamond City Security died defending this town. So yeah, she kind of has her own opinion about that. And then Vadim from the local bar complains that there aren't any happy stories in the newspapers. And her personal response to that is, Vadim, no story about your bar is going to end happily. <laughs> and then the last one is just, uh, your paper is just trying to drum up fears about sins to increase sales. You should be ashamed of yourself. And her personal response is, Thank you for your concern. I hope you get snatched by the Institute. And the last section was a few uh, public uh, opinion pieces, but uh, I'm not going to read all that. So let's head back outside and let's go to the detective agency. But first, before I forget, the game just mentioned I discovered Diamond City Market. The Diamond City Market. And there's, of course, a lot of merchants here, which might actually... Uh, who might actually sell something nice. And I can offload a few of my things here. Uh, we just got an update on the map for the combat zone. We're not going to be heading there anytime soon. But uh, yeah, let's check everything out here. You there! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. A swatter? That sounds interesting. That's, of course, a melee weapon. You look rather burnt, dude. What happened? Too long in the sun? Uh, those lamps really, really strong. What's a swatter? 
<laughs> oh, yeah. that guy looked creepy. Swata, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Why would that... Because that's, that's not baseball, but why? I've always wondered that. You know this is a stadium, you know the sport was called baseball, but you never realized that there was somehow a ball involved in the game. Look, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. Oh, ball. Right, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? Um... More violent. Yes, more violent. The teams would also beat the spectators to death. That's how the term spectator sport got started. I like my version better. <laughs> now, can I awesome. interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? Well, let's take a look. Let's see what you got. The genuine articles. Who's the freaking guy in the back with the fancy mustache? He's creeping me out. But let's take a look. So first off, he sells baseballs and I can make baseball grenades with that. So let's buy all of those. So yeah, that's what I thought. He sells a legendary baseball bat variant, the Rockville Slugger. And I'm going to buy that one as well because it's 40% uh, less action point cost for a weapon that is normally slow, which is uh, really, really nice. So let's buy that. And there we go. Sold him a lot of uh, ammo and uh, accept. There we go. Called all the caps in the world as well. So now, let's take a look at that. I think I can use the workbench over here. Let's put chain wrapped on the uh, Rockville slug as well. Because it is already aluminium, which is good. There we go. Chain wrapped up to 66, but with 40% less action point cost, which is amazing. And there we go. So we upgraded the uh, Rockville Slugger to the same as the one we've been using. I'm going to give Sheffield here a Nuka Cola. Hey, Thirsty Nuka Cola. Nuka Cola. Here you go, you go. buddy. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. Would have been funny if I got, because that's a mini quest. I could get Idiot Savant on that, but that didn't happen. Uh, so next up, the weapon store. I'm probably not going to get anything from that, but uh, let's check it out anyway. So Arturo is really the man because he sells a machete. Let's buy that. And then, ooh, even more interesting, a sledgehammer. Let's not leave that sitting there as well. So let's buy that and I'll clear out his, uh, his coins as well, his caps. There we go. All of the caps in the world to me. And now we have Diamond City Surplus. I think she just sells resources, so crafting resources. I'm actually going to check out what I can do with the weapons I just gathered. So the machete. I could get that serrated blade, but I need blacksmith too. And that actually is a significant upgrade. Holy crap. And then the sledgehammer. This is... So 54 base, which is worse than the baseball bat I have right now. And everything above that, it is immediately going up to 80. 95, 109, ooh, that goes quickly. But we need blacksmith tree for heavy spikes. We can get it to 95 if we get our hands on blacksmith 2. Which is looking really, really nicely there. I'm not gonna go any lower because I see even rockets added. That must be something from uh, Nuka, Nuka World that's been added. Because that wasn't there before. Because I think I've read somewhere that the sledgehammer now can actually go above the damage of a super sledge. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see that later on when we actually can do those upgrades. But uh, yeah, two new fancy weapons in our arsenal that we're not going to immediately be able to use. Because Big Jim is also medium as a machete. But a lot better, so it's 50% difference there. So... Uh, yeah, we're gonna stay with uh, the Rockville Slugger and Big Jim for now. So with that done, we, that means we can go further into Diamond City and there's a handy sign supporting us towards the detective agency. So uh, Valentine Detective Agency sounds really, really nice over here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna meet Nick Valentine um, inside. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. I kind of feel like she's not talking to us. Um, hello, miss? We're looking for Nick Valentine. 
Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Um, and why is that? I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. There we go. Another charisma check done. The detective. He's gone missing. Oh. Um, let's offer you our help, because Bayou Bob is a very helpful man. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Okay, I could ask for money, but that's not what I'm going to do. Um, let's offer our help. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Sounds like a very cool guy, but I also have the feeling you're hiding something from us about Nick's look. But, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later then. We'll have to go and find Nick ourselves then. Because, yeah, if we can help out the detective, he might help us out with our, uh, our son. So find Nick Valentine. Unlikely Valentine has started. And I'm just going to get the Robco Fun here. Because that's another uh, mini game that's been added to our Pip-Boy if you want to. And I think that's about it, because I don't think we can actually... Ooh. This is interesting. The Mysterious Stranger. So there's a perk in Fallout. It was in Fallout 3, I think in New Vegas as well, and it's in Fallout 4 as well. So the Mysterious Stranger is where if you use vats and you take a shot, you have a chance that a Mysterious Stranger will pop up and kill the target you were pointing your gun at. Um, so sightings of a man dubbed the Mysterious Stranger have been popping up sporadically across the old US for years now. Best case, the man's an amoral lunatic. Worst case, a pro pro prolific serial killer. All anyone knows is his MO, appearing suddenly, killing without remorse and disappearing without a word. The Stranger has no known accomplices, no clear method for selecting his targets, no calling cards left behind. Sightings range from the NCR, so New Vegas, there we go, all the way to the East Coast, stretching back decades. Now he's come to the Commonwealth. Last thing this place needs is another psychopath running amok. Time to start putting together the pieces to put this one away. Description. Human male, outfits vary, but most recent sightings describe a large overcoat and fedora. Guy has taste, I'll give him that much, because it's the same outfit that Nick Valentine actually wears. One man, multiple man. Men. A ghoul with minimal scarring might explain the long passages of time between sightings. Appears and disappears suddenly, suggesting pre... pre... preter... preternatural... preternatural infiltration abilities, access to advanced cloaking tech. All but earliest descriptions suggest the stranger uses only conventional arms, making infiltration training more likely. Perps like this make me wish the Institute has sprung for a thermal detection before giving me the boot. So that's because... that's actually the first indication. Because yeah, I'm just gonna spoil it a bit here, so um, Nick Valentine is a synth. So that's why he talks about perps like this make me wish the Institute had sprung for thermal detection before giving me the boot. Because he, uh, yeah, he escaped from the Institute as a synth. So sighting locations, Commonwealth, Capital, Capital Wasteland, so Fallout 3, NCR, that is Fallout New Vegas. And Shady Sands, uh, read the old rumors, that's DLC for Fallout New Vegas, if I'm not mistaken. Or is that one of the older Fallouts? Might be, so let's just leave that over there. Uh, and that's it, because that every other thing I can pick up here is stealing. So let's head outside and uh, we'll see what we'll do next then. So it seems like we have our next objective, finding uh, Nick Valentine, but there's a lot of stuff to do in Diamond City. So uh, first up, I think I'm going to have a little chat with the mayor if he's available. So uh, Nat told us about the, um, the, the stadium seat rich people. So uh, yeah, the mayor's office is actually right over there on top. So we need to get to that elevator over there and I'm hoping his office is available right now, but we'll see that in a second. Oh wait, there's something going on. Kyle, no. Um. Yeah. I I completely missed this. So, damn it! I kind of hate that I missed this. So there were two brothers arguing, and they thought 
that one of them was a synth and well suspicions were enough for these people so diamond city security just shot him in the face and he now lost his well i was gonna say lost his brains but he kind of lost everything up there so you can actually check out his corpse i'm actually gonna don't mind me and you can actually see that he was not a synth which makes this even sadder because there's no synth component on the corpse so that's kind of the only way you can see whether somebody has is a, a synth or not uh, especially the, the further advanced synths, because the synths we've seen before we do actually look like robots, so that's not uh, hard to notice the difference. But the uh, newer synths still look like, uh, actually look like people. So you can't see the difference, except when you kill them. Then you can check out the corpse and see if there's a synth component or not. But, the mayor's office. I must say, they did a really good job in turning this uh, stadium into uh, a little city, because that's... I mean, it's a very neat idea to do, to do that for a game. So yeah, Fallout 4 has a, a few nice, very nice locations, even though it's uh, a wasteland. But yeah, it's a bit more colorful than we're used to in Fallout. Um, I think, yeah, let's go talk to the secretary. <clears throat> Mayor's in no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. I don't think I have the money for a housing permit. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. Sounds good. 2,000 caps. I actually have 2,000 caps, but I'm just gonna wait. Let me think it over. Take all the time you need. Thank you, Geneva. Although, that kind of sounded demeaning. Hey, Geneva. Need something, honey? Housing permit? Looking for a job? Honey, we've, we've upgraded. I'm looking for work. Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check the wanted posters in the market. Let's talk about these synths you've been talking about. Wait, what was that about synths? Oh no, I'm not saying anything. I like my job, thank you very much. Okay, so who are you exactly? And you are? Geneva, the mayor's secretary. I handle all the day to day. Okay, she's very, very short on that. So I'm guessing it's not opening hours, so let's just leave. I don't need anything. Catch you later, then. Can I actually just walk past her? You're gonna be mad. I mean, the door is open. Security man isn't mad at me. I could probably steal all that, but... And so, I'm just going. I feel like the security guy doesn't really care about me going in here. Ooh. I've never actually been inside of the mayor's room. This actually looks really, really fancy. Ooh, and he has a vault bed. A very, very fancy bed. And he's actually... For some reason, he's a very avid collector of telephones. And he has a complete giddy-up buttercup. The bastard. But yeah, I've looked around, but the mayor... The mayor isn't even here. And there's no other rooms I could check. Nope, that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, no, 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 no talk with the mayor, apparently. Uh, there's actually, where does this go? I'm curious. Let's go in the elevator. Push all the buttons. Ooh, it even has the elevator music. There's not a lot of those. Because usually it's that silent in one of these. Because this also serves as a loading zone, because I can feel it in the frame rate. Okay, that took a while. Am I... Oh! That gets me outside of the city. That is interesting, actually. Yes. Alright! Okay, then the game kind of decided for us, but let's head, head back outside and we'll go towards uh, Nick Valentine then. Because we might have to help out the chap in his investigation into... Uh, Malone. So yeah, there's a lot to do still in uh, Diamond City, but for now we'll head towards uh, Valentine's location. And we might encounter a few things along the way, like this dead settler and a trip mine. Okay, so there's our first super mutant, but he's on a, an elevated position. Seems like I can actually... Ooh. I can almost take him out if I want to. 
But I don't think I really want to. So let's just go down underneath him. Quiet. Oh, yeah. And he has a gun. Oh, he has a rocket launcher. So let's try and ignore that guy. Ooh. Can I stumble upon a Nuka Cola Quantum? Thank you very much. So he's over there on the bridge, patrolling left to right. I think if I go over here, I might actually just bypass him completely. Although, I mean, it is our first super mutant. It's a base one. Oh god, that's that is this is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea, but um that's ooh, look at all the swings we can take. Come on, another one. Yeah, because I don't want him to fire that missile launcher. That went flying. Five missiles. Uh we're on very hard, so those don't weigh anything. I'm actually gonna take the missile launcher and just immediately drop it. I'm actually wondering if that works with a missile missile launcher. Yep. We got an extra missile from it. There we go. That that's that looks really funny, just dropping a missile launcher on the floor. Just like, I don't care about this, I don't know how this works. Oh, hallucinogen. That might be interesting. I'm just gonna... Just gonna discover the location. And we'll head into this later. Because this is a really, really cool building, but we're gonna... We're gonna skip to Nick Valentine first. Although, you know what? Might as well do this first. You know, while we're here, we might as well just go in here and see what's inside. Because uh, this is a kind of a... I think it's an unmarked quest even. But there's a lot of fancy things here. And yeah, gunners. So yeah, kind of useless for us, of course. Because gunners kind of kind of indicates they're using guns. Which we don't really use. But... Uh, might want to see because they carry they usually have some really nice quality loot so although there's a lot of dead ones out i usually they protect this area don't they that's weird so, so let's just check it out inside Pete, a chemical leak what? has been detected a Please chemical leak has been detected um so as you can see the place has been flooded with some sort of gas and yeah, Hallucigen isn't really a company that hid what it was doing. So Hallucigen... Oh, go. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Jesus! He just went for the Molotovs immediately, didn't he? What was that? What was that noise? Kind of sounded like somebody was shooting up. Let's take the bottle caps from here. Dangerous fading. So yeah, a, a dangerous... Gas has escaped, and everybody just lost its, his, their shit, so uh, they're now fighting each other. Which is uh, absolutely fine by me, but I do need to be careful, because all these guys are carrying guns. So I just need to whack them in the face when I come across them. Yeah, so they're uh, giggling and all that, and trying to kill each other. That's that's fun. Please, please do. I'm gonna just collect the loot while you're, you guys are going around the place. So there's only one real way to go here, because everything else is uh, locked off or completely destroyed. Okay, so there's a gunner over there. I'm just going to teleport to him and hit him in the face. Or hit her in the face. Yeah. She looks really chill about the entire situation <laughs> with the sunglasses on there. Ooh, a baseball cap. Because, yeah, I kind of forgot. I, I just... I'm still in my formal wear. I have no defense at the moment. Yeah, th this is this is Bayou Bob at the moment, just uh, rocking his formal wear. Ooh, I never checked that out, but the sea captain's hat is actually to endurance. That is really good. The patrolman's sunglasses, of course, just to look really, really cool. Yeah, there we go. We look. Yeah, look at that. I'm always starting to sing YMCA for some reason. <laughs> A chemical leak has been detected. Ooh, yeah. They, they killed each other, all right. Um, I'm actually wondering if I should... Yeah, let's just go for Big Jim for now. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, just to, just to uh, give some variety to the combat. So definitely not the only people here. Looks like we're heading through a tool shed. But this might be... Yeah, it's an explosive box. Ooh, there's oil across... Ooh, oil and gas. So if somebody just fires in this direction, I'm completely screwed. 
Just take it easy. So it looks like we're now... Yeah, we're on the other side of the hallway now. Okay. A legendary gunner. That's not good. But it's kind of good. If I kill him, I get a legendary item. Might be a good melee weapon. So they definitely... Ooh, God. Oh, he evolved already. Um, I'm just going to let him do that. Yeah, he, he killed he killed them all, right? Uh, let's continue the job. There we go. Four times damage. Oh, yeah. That is weird. Why? I don't do four times damage with the baseball bat, I think. Let's try that. Because, yeah, we did, we'd normally do four times the damage because of the... I took a rank in Ninja. Aww. A dead-eyed double-barrel shotgun. Time slows down for a moment while aiming on a freaking shotgun. Um, well, let's just take it because it's a legendary item, but... Yeah, it's a gun, sadly. Research terminal. Might check that out to see what they were actually making here. Ooh, so this terminal is talking about a prototype device called a suppressor. Non-lethal target suppression via electrical discharge. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to activate that because I think it's actually in this room. Yeah, it's that thing over there. So we don't really want to do that. So yeah, we were going to test if I got... If I get the, the four times bonus for sneak attacks with the... The baseball bat, because I don't think I do. But Tesla Science Energy Weapons Permanently Inflict Plus 5% Critical Damage. I'm gonna take it, but it's completely useless for us, of course. So there's a, a gunner that has trapped herself inside of this locked room, because I can't actually open it. Can she open the door if I just whack it a bunch? Hello? Yeah, I'm detected, but she doesn't really seem to care. Ooh, trip mine. There we go, and a lot of dead gunners. Maybe I should use vats to see if there's mines, because this kind of looks dangerous. Hey, they really went apeship in this building, because uh, everything is kicked around. So I could activate the security the robots but I'm not gonna do that let's just leave the security office for what it is oh a single gunner so let's check that out so I'm just gonna whack it a few times and hey, there's a sneak attack oh plus yeah times three so that's I think that's bugged then because I should be getting times four not times three so I think actually for sneak attacks big Jim might actually be better at this moment because I get an extra multiplier. Yeah, we'll rock that thing for a moment. Because it's actually powerful enough for these guys. A chemical leak has been detected. More people shooting at each other. And another legendary gunner. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's going down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that? No, that's the normal gunner. Jesus. These guys are going crazy for a bit. He he's looking really buff, by the way. A lovely buddy. He's picking... Oh, he picked up a laser. Yeah, he, picked, he just picked up a laser. Okay, then. Well, that was kind of graphic. Is that the legendary? Oh, and now he just stopped. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh the puncture side in the face. I'm hoping there's nobody... Yeah, okay. But we're firing from up there, but yeah. The poor lad lost his head. Evacuate the building. Nothing particularly in there. Ooh, there's a note here. Look, Paul, it's all I can do to keep the feds from weaseling out of their contracts. Damien and his boys in R&D put on a good show, but they can't find their asses with both hands. The last thing I need right now is for you to spook the investors. Don't give me any more of this crap, you know every trick in the book. Make our financials for this quarter shine, I don't care how, just do it. Sounds like Hallucigen was in a bit of a, a bit of a pinch, because we're at the accounting office apparently. So yeah, we just find the financial drafts for uh, 
yeah quarter so the first the first one is pretty negative and the second one just uh embellishes a few uh points here and there to make it all look very very nice oh oh the legendary gun actually died instigating submachine gun so again a gun does double damage if the target is at full health actually the pretty useless because yeah with a, a high fire rate weapon that doesn't really that's only the first shot that will do double damage which is a lot more handy on a sniper rifle of some sorts than on a submachine gun and then we come to what looks like a testing area and it sounds like there's a lot of people fighting each other here. Let's join in the fun. Oh, they're all in cubicles. So you can't really interfere immediately. Although this guy must have died from someone. So it's kind of disturbing with everybody beating the shit out of each other constantly. But... Yeah, this is, this is rather interesting. Let's just leave those guys there. It doesn't seem like there's a legendary in between there. So uh, let's uh, let those guys beat each other up for a while. And this is where I wanted to be. Labs observation area. Please step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products in development. Because you can actually press all these buttons and it will explain what Hallucigen was up to. So uh, very interesting indeed. So let's go with the first one. Hallucigen's eradicator provides your forces with state-of-the-art field decontamination solution. Goodbye! Small amounts of residual radiation may persist in the affected area. Dosage subject to change Please pending safety evacuation. Oh yeah, we, we straight up killed that man. He, he kind of exploded in a cloud of radiation. Next one! Invisaway from Hallucigen is a new advance in the field of stealth technology. Capable of doing away with cumbersome personal generators forever. What? Some subjects may become inaudible and or intangible. Effects may be permanent. Further research is ongoing. Effects may be permanent. <laughs> a permanent invisibility machine. That might have its benefits, but I see a lot of negatives as well. Next one. Criminal scum? Don't get a gun. Try Hallucigen Suppressor, a safe, reliable, and effective way to paralyze even armored targets. Yeah, we didn't activate that for a reason. And that's the reason. The partial and or complete paralysis of the user, bystanders, small animals, and or large animals. Discretion is advised. <laughs> complete paralysis of the user and or small animals. <laughs> Next one. Reliable crowd control since 2055. Hallucigen gas can stop a riot faster than any other product on the market. And without the messy side effects of our competitors' offerings. Use with caution. Unpredictable sensory experiences may result. Subjects exposed to high dosages may suffer catastrophic adrenal failure. Well, it kind of looks like they completely lost their minds because they started killing each other. Probably because of the hallucinations, which is in your name. You called yourself Hallucigen. What do you think it was going to happen? Hallucigen's dispersant is ideal for peacefully clearing an area of civilians. It is? Hallucigen is not responsible for any damage, injury, or loss of life sustained in mass panics that may or may not result from the use of dispersant. Um, they really didn't like that. So now they continue fighting anyway, so let's just keep going further. Hey? Oh god! In the face! And in the face! Anything else? No. No. Oh, caution. Letting my action points come back. Although it sounds like they're fighting each other and not me. Which is fine by me. So again, taking all the pistols for the ammo. Now, I do wonder how far does Blitz work? Oh my god, I can just drop a level if I want to. How haven't you guys killed each other yet? This is just, this is just creepy to watch. Evacuate the building. 
Are you, are you is is one of you gonna die eventually? Cause cause I think so. There's a there's a corpse over here. Just gonna let those two duke it out for a while. There we go. More laser pistol. Yeah, they both still have a lot of health left. And I might want to hit that one. Oh, si ooh, that that is really handy. It kind of looked like a psychic blast. I just hit him from across the room. And then dropping down, and yep, her as well. What the hell is going on? Bob has developed psychic pow powers. That looks all drop. Oh, I thought she was going to drop off the... There's still one very, very close to me. Just going to take the, the psychically killed people detected. Okay. There's a guy on the ground here. And he doesn't seem to mind me. Um. Bugs. Well, sorry, dude. Yeah, bye. Ooh. Oh, didn't mean to... Yeah, didn't mean to hit your head off there. But that's... I'm guessing that's what you get with uh, a puncturing big gym. I think we're pretty close to where I need to be, if I'm not mistaken. Because, yeah, we're getting to the lower levels. Let's just check this closed door first. There we go. Looks like a bit of supplies. Let's take all that. Something. Yeah, a cigarette carton. Don't really care about that. And I keep getting bags of cement instead of fertilizer. Because I really, really want fertilizer right now. Yeah, this is it. So the, the main frame. Uh, do need to check out if there aren't any traps here. So... I think if I open up this, I can actually access something else. Let's check it out. There we go. Open it up. And then, yeah, the master password reset. There we go. Now we have the master password in our inventory. That should help us get access to, f to a few of the uh, closed off areas. And there's a minigun in the back here. Yeah, s sadly, I don't really want to wanna use that. So let's just get the bottle caps of the dead gunner in the corner. Then I think I can, yeah, I can open that up with the master password and open up the door. Go into hidden immediately because I don't know what's behind this door actually. Seems like we're getting closer to the leak. A chemical leak oh god. Oh Please god, don't die. The building immediately. Didn't really expect that for, <laughs> for a second there. Um, hmm, I'm gonna have to heal that up first. A bit of baked bloat fly. Can't really hurt, right? That sounds disgusting, to be honest. And then the decontamination control terminal. Because yeah, right now this place doesn't really feel decontaminated. So let's start that up. Please instruct personnel to proceed into the decontamination chamber. Oh! That actually got rid of the gas. The gas, the gas, uh, yeah, that. Uh, oh, and then we have an, an expert locked door. So that's... Oh, that would be a shortcut if you had expert uh, lockpicking. Oh, look! My rads even disappeared. That was very nice of them. And then we get... Ooh, this place is booby-trapped as well. And there's definitely somebody here. A gunner commander. Just gonna disarm the trip mine. I think because this guy is a high-level enemy... I'm gonna just use a bottle cap mine over there. Oh, he already wants to check it out. Fine by me. Where did he go? Did he? No. He's invisible. He has a stealth boy. He's right over there. Yeah, I can see a slight shimmer. Just gonna lure him out then. There we go. He's not dead yet, so let's wait for him to come over here. I don't want to blow up my own bottle cap mine. There we go! <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. Let's just pick up the caps. Don't want to waste that. And what does he have? The hallucinogen key. Gunner's note. Mission brief. And everything else. So the gunner's note got to focus. Writing might help. Some kind of gas in the lab we broke in, it got out. Hit the vents, went everywhere. Everyone just snapped. Locke and Harold drew on me, shot them dead. I think hurts to think. 
Seal the door again, can't let any more get out. Wait long enough, maybe I can adjust. Have to tough it out, have to. Hurts so much, can hear them. Voices, they're coming, they're coming. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. So yeah, he was clearly going crazy. And then the hallucinogen mission brief? Mission tech salvage. Objectives make contact with your recon team, frontal assault. Secure pre-war military tech. Clients especially interested in the invisiwave and eradicated Detect. weapons. Details sketchy. Access mainframe, download schematics, assess targets of opportunity and rapid withdrawal. So they got to the invisibility tech clearly because he was completely invisible. Um, let's see what we have here. Hallucinogen gas canister. So there's test results for everything we've seen in the demo room. <laughs> Third test is a complete success, Admiral was impressed. Uh, but uh, your Invisiwave is 5 mirrors, 2 hacked stealth boys and a trap door. Makes for a splashy demo, but you really crossed the line this time. Sales wants 200 units by December, good luck with that. So the Invisiwave wasn't really real. And then the Eradicator is a 2 ton machine that irradiates people. What part of handheld fealty contaminator did you not understand? The Dispersant? It's supposed to stop riots, not start them. This entire line of research is a joke. I'm transferring the project to Karen. Send her your files and destroy your samples, then clean out your desk. Cause you're fired! The hallucinogen gas, despite new formulation, gas still caused traumatic adrenal gland rupture. Adjust dosage, retest, at least this is making progress. If marketing would just position this as a military grade chemical weapon, we'd be done here. Would make a good grenade or artillery shell. Interesting. And then the suppressor subject successfully incapacitated. Paralysis appears to be permanent. <laughs> yeah, not all such good ideas, but it sounds like they were turning the gas into a weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, he lost something. So those were the two gunners he shot. Ruptured hallucinogen gas canister, that's not... Because these hallucinogen gas canisters must be used for something. There was a bit of drugs here as well, so I think the commander might have used drugs to keep himself sane. Uh, what's that over there? Another gas canister. But there must be something here then. There is actually a stealth boy in the, an open cracked safe, along with a grenade. Uh, two grenades. And more gas canisters. So yeah, the terminal talks about turning the hallucinogen gas into a grenade, but I can't for the life of me find anything inside of this room. So we'll just head further and there's another uh, steamer trunk over here with maybe some good loot. Ooh, so the hallucinogen key. So this isn't over yet. Let's take the 308 rounds. I'm going to leave the rest here. Let it polish. No, it's metal. I don't really like metal. Um, that seems like the detected, exit, please. so that probably, yeah, that brings us back outside around the back, actually, right next to the amphitheater. I don't want to do that just, ooh, I am going to dismantle the strip wire, though. Thank you very much. And yeah, I'm going to head back in and we'll see if I can, because that key must be usable somewhere else as well, right? Oh, so apparently just reading the terminal was enough for the... Ooh, I can just make that. So I picked up uh, eight hallucinogen gas canisters, so that means I can actually make eight hallucinogen gas grenades. Chance to frenzy targets for 60 seconds. So the same effect as we're seeing here, but in a grenade form. Well, uh, don't mind if I do... I do need a lot of adhesive. I did pick up quite a lot of it, so I might even... Yeah, I'm almost... Oh, so I need a bit more adhesive. If I can find it, I can, then I can make a few more. Anything else I can make? Stim pack? Yeah, I don't really need any of that. Oh, so this door... Yeah, so that just leads back around, which is fine. So there's still people around, obviously, which is weird. Did I... Wait. I didn't go in here, so this must be... Door. Is this an office of some the kind? Okay. Been detected. Please evacuate the building. So he's... Right over there. I think I might be able to... Gunner conscript. Oh, wow. He has a lot of health. Uh, let's go to the Rockville Slugger. He's busy on the... On the terminal over there, but if I just... Yeah, I'm, ooh, wow. 
I might be able to get him down, yeah. So let's just use the critical on his ass. And... Oh, oh god. That was not a sneak attack. Just keep hitting, Bob. Keep hitting. No, no. Yeah, there we go. And another one. He got one shot off. I don't know if that was... Enough. I didn't take any damage, I think. So bottle cap fusion cell... Let's just take the laser pistol for the ammo, and so yeah, it does look like we're in the CEO's office. Yeah, CEO's terminal, so we're right in here in the office of the CEO. Might find out something more then. Just uh, dumped a buttload of guns on the floor that I just... I'm, I'm not going to use those, but I do get the ammo from them. So we have a safe and a bobby pin box, there we go. And the, the poor gunner's leg right next to the, the safe. Oh, there's more bobby pins in here. So somebody tried to open up the safe already, which is interesting. But I think this terminal might actually help us out a bit. Because we have the master password, so that means we can access access this uh, terminal immediately. Appointment calendar 102577. Nothing of interest, he's just had a meeting with the US Army. So, uh, yeah, nothing really spectacular but of course the safe control we can open up the safe using the terminal there we go and it has a bunch of ammo and pre-war money not that amazing if i'm honest that wasn't what i was hoping for but anyway we did get the gas grenades out of this place which is which is very nice they might come in handy later on who are you okay I uh, just uh, could use the. Oh. Repeat. A chemical leak has been I could detected. use the key I found on the. Yeah, there was this gunner that was stuck in here. I remember that now, but. Ugh. Didn't expect her to be this tough. Why did she lock herself in here? She could easily take on everybody here. That was. Ouch. Kind of underestimated her, and I kind of forgot I was working with uh, very hard difficulty here. That was uh, completely my fault, but doesn't seem like there's that much of use in here. We could just... Ooh. She was hoarding a bit of ammo, which is something, I suppose, something I could sell. But other than that, no. Just a deranged gunner conscript. Oh, God, that was... Yeah, okay. That kind of had the, um, the designated effect, but who? Okay. And that's it for uh, the entire building and I think I'm gonna take a little break because uh, Bob has had his fill of, uh, well, hallucin hallucinogenic gas because, um, yeah, everybody went crazy here so we took everybody out with melee weapons and that's what this run is all about after all. So whacked a few faces but that's it for this episode because I've, uh, I've been in this building for a lot longer than I expected it to, uh, to take me. But uh, yeah, we did get something nice out of it. We did get the hallucinogen gas grenades out of it. So uh, we're going to be able to use that next time when we're uh, going to go and find out where Nick Valentine is hiding out. Well, not hiding out. He seems to be in a bit of distress. But uh, Bob is ready to help him. Look at that lovely face. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.